uh, Lee Promise, and you know, I don't, we don't, I don't think we ever talk about this on the radio, but can you tell the pinky story once and for all? <laughs> you know what, the funny thing to me, man, about the pinky story, and I, 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 I it's, a, it's a Paul Bunyan story. <laughs> Every Super Bowl, I get kind of, it's, the, the Super Bowls for me are really interesting because that comes up a lot, and I think the first time that I realized that it was a weird story, it was about one o'clock in the morning, I'm in Phoenix for the, the first time that they had a Super Bowl there in Phoenix, and you, you know how media day, you have all these interviews, and then I had the late interview at 12 o'clock, so I walk in this room, the room is empty, it's like this, and this lady was there. And, you know, the radio guys are over there, and this lady's sitting over there by herself. And I'm like, uh oh, what's going on? So, so she walks over to me, and she goes, can I see the finger? <laughs> I said, what? She goes, I want to see your finger. I was like, well, we check it out. And she goes, you did it. It's, it's true. I was like, yeah. And for me, I don't, I don't think about it like some people think about it because, again, I grew up in that environment where you saw guys in the military give up a lot more. Or better yet, some of my heroes that, are in, that played, for, played professional football, Larry Wilson played with two broken wrists. Um, Jack Youngblood played with a broken leg. So you had guys that have made, you know, sacrifices. And um, for me, the story is really a simple one where, you know, it was the last game of the year. And we were going to go to the Giants. It was a playoff game, a wild card game. And um, I decided that that game that we were going to play, I was like, they said, you can't play. I was like, I'm, I'm going to tape this thing up. I'm going to tape it up. Now, the, the front of my finger was gone, you know, and I broke the bone in half, and I lost a piece of the bone in it. And they were like, you, 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 gotta, you can't play. And I was like, well, what do you mean? You, you can't play. Again, the psyche of me is like Larry Wilson played, Jack Youngbud play, these guys play. And so you, it's not being crazy, it's just knowing the capacity of what you could do. Um, um, and so the, the sad part for me was that when I did get it amputated after that game and after losing against the Giants, the doctor was like, oh man, this is gonna look great, your finger's gonna be fantastic, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> And he, you know, and I'll, I'll never forget it, you know, because for, you know, they, the great story was that when I get, get my finger amputated, he goes, man, are you ready? I was like, dang right, I'm ready. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm ready. And he goes, why is your heart racing so fast? <laughs> <laughs> and the reason my heart was racing so fast because, he went, and the saw, right? The saw. So I hear the saw, and I'm like, and I'm like sitting there, and my booty hole was tight, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. So, so then he gives me a sedative, he gives me a sedative, he amputates the finger, and then, um, uh, then they get put this ball on your, finger, on your hand. In the first week, it hurts. So it hurts, and then about three months in it, they're saying, okay, we're gonna take it off. I walk into the office, and the doctor goes, oh, I can't wait, it's gonna be awesome. I was like, you know, and you're, I'm sitting there going, yeah, I can't wait. So he takes off the thing, and he goes, it looks great, right? right? He goes, it's, 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 it's awesome. And I'm looking at it now, <laughs> I, 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 I'm like, shit. First, man, first thing I said, I said, man, that thing looks like E.T.'s head, right? 
And the second thing that I did was I almost fainted. I'm, uh, literally, I'm, 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 I'm. And the reason why is that for, for, for the last month, the last month you're, you're moving it. You can move your hand in that bandage and you're moving it. The whole time, your brain is telling you, it's there. It is there. It's there, right? It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. And there. And then, you know, you, you take it off and you look at E.T.'s head and you're going, <laughs> this is, you know, this is, re this is ridiculous. And, 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 then, and then you get over it. I got over it. I got over it fairly quickly and moved on. Yeah, and all these years, I, we, I've never heard a story, great stories. Yeah, so but, that's, <laughs> but that's, that's, I that's, that's... I hate to make you tell it for the 600th time. No, but that's... You know what? I usually tell, you know, trick-or-treat, the kids come over. <laughs> say, oh, man, it's in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> I just put it in your bag. Yeah.